Let's talk about humidity, temperature and how your lash glues work. And this is so important and it's something that you probably don't know about and it's something that you probably weren't taught. And it is also something that we've only really started to understand within the last couple of years. So if you are serious about being a lash technician, this is where you need to understand how your products work, so the science behind them. And this is where you're also going to need to spend a little bit of money so that you can control your salon environment. And this is another reason why working as a mobile lash technician is not a good idea and why you really need to work from one environment, an environment that you can control. So I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever noticed that in the summer your clients really suffer from bad retention or your glue goes really, really gloopy? and you're getting through loads of it and the lashes won't bond and just lashing in general is an absolute nightmare well I'm going to tell you why this is and this is something that I had no idea about because nobody told me about it and it was something that actually very very nearly made me give up lashing so I'm so pleased that I actually managed to find out about it and now that I can share this with all of you so that you don't take the same journey that I did and very very nearly give up okay so firstly I'm going to talk to you about our glues and how they work and the product that they've got in them. So our glues contained several products and the one that we need to worry about is Cyanoacrylate. Now Cyanoacrylate is present in every single lash glue on the market and by lash glue I mean semi-permanent lash glue. The lash glue that we are using to do individual eyelash extensions. Not the glue that you would use for cluster lashes or for strip lashes. This is solely this type of glue. This means actually that if you are allergic to one type of lash glue, you're going to be allergic to all of them because they all contain cyanoacrylate in them. Otherwise it would be as simple as literally changing the brand of glue. But unfortunately they've all got it, this in it. Okay. So then this now dictates how our glues work. So cyanoacrylate does not dry, it cures. So if you hear somebody saying the word dry, they actually mean cure. And what curing is, is it uses moisture droplets or particles that are in the air around us or in our environment to actually make the glue cure, to set, to dry. I'm going to use those terms because people understand them. So... I'm going to do a little example for you. So I'm going to take this glue and I'm going to place it on one of my business cards and I'm going to pop it here. Here we go. Right. So if I was now to suck every bit of moisture out of my room here, I don't know how I'd do it, but if I had a big hose and I went and sucked it all out, okay, that blob of glue there would sit there forever and it would never ever dry. It would be really, really wet and blobby and horrible. It would never dry because there's no moisture in the air. And cyanoacrylate, it loves moisture. It uses moisture to, to cure. The little water particles in the air, they come along, they go, they come along, and then they attach to it and they go, and they make it dry. Okay? So if we've got no moisture in the air, that'll never dry. Now let's reverse it. So if we were then to pump this room full of 100% moisture, it was like really steamy, like you're having a hot steamy shower and I can't see and all my windows are steamed up. That little blob of glue there will go and it will draw, dry, cure, set immediately. So now think about it. It's so important that we are able to control the humidity in our rooms so that we have the perfect humidity for our glues to start working and curing perfectly. Because not enough moisture in the air, which is humidity, the glue will just stay wet. Well, imagine that glue on your client's lashes. The lashes will fall off, the lashes will all stick together. It's like working with a sensitive glue, okay? Big, thick, gloopy, never dries. But then the other way around, if we've got too much moisture in the air, that glue will be dry before you can even get it to the natural lash. So you can now see why you have to control your humidity. So how do we control our humidity? Well, it's very simple. We have to buy one of these. This is a device that's called a hygrometer. Relatively inexpensive, will cost you about £10, so about $15, $20 from a hardware store, eBay, Amazon, anywhere. And what this does, the one that I've got, it tells you the time. It tells you your temperature in your room, at the moment it's 24.8, and it tells you humidity, 65%. So have a look at those, 24.8, 65%. 
66% is just gone up to. Now, you might want to make a note of this, and I suggest that you do, and stick it on a post-it note in your room if you can't remember this. Your optimum temperature for your lash glues to perform at is between 19 to 24 degrees, okay? Because temperature is really important. If your salon is too warm or too cold, your glue will not work perfectly either. So 21 to 24. So for me, 21 kind of sits in the middle of that, and that's what my glues like to work at. So I try and keep my salon at 21 degrees. Optimum humidity needs to be between 45 to 55. So today we are way too high at 66 because it's the middle of the summer here in the UK and we are very, very humid here. So that's too high, but I'm not actually lashing today, so I haven't bothered to get it down. But your optimum humidity wants to be between 50, 45 to 55%. So for me, I know that my glue that I like, it likes 52 not because the manufacturer told me, but because I know that when I use it, it seems to grab really well. Clients get good retention out of it. So you have to control your environment. So you can now see why mobile lashing is not an option really for us. You need a good environment. Because a lot of our glues, especially when you start using the better glues, because they're more specific to what we do, they have to have the environment controlled perfectly. So this is where it then gets expensive. And stay with me here because I know this is probably getting boring by now, but you know this is going to save your career because it will stop your, your clients losing lashes and possibly going elsewhere. So stick with me with this one. So you're now going to need to purchase yourself a dehumidifier. Okay, This draws a moisture out of the air. And by that I don't mean a piddly little one that you put on the mantelpiece that's about a foot tall. It needs to be a proper freestanding unit that is about a foot to a foot and a half tall. It's going to cost you about £150 unfortunately. But once you've got it, you've got it, and it will save your butt because it will suck that extra moisture out of the air. So today I'm at 66%. Well, my glue likes 52%, so that's 14% I'm too high. I've got to have something that is going to remove that moisture. Without that, I might as well send my client away because their lashes will not last and I won't be able to attach. So you've got to get yourself a dehumidifier. So for us in the UK, that's going to be on in the summer, sucking that excess, excess moisture out of our rooms, okay? You're also going to need to get yourself an aircon unit. And a fan isn't always good enough because a fan just blows the air around. It doesn't actually cool it. So my air conditioning would come on to get my temperature from 24.9, which is too high. My glue will just be going off in a matter of minutes, down to 21 degrees, okay? My air conditioning unit cost me £250, unfortunately. It's a lot of money, but if I want to lash, I've got to have it. But once I've got it, I've got it. Simple as that. So I need that in the summer to bring my temperature down. Let's talk about the winter. In the winter, when our temperature is low, we're going to need a heater to bring it up, and our humidity in the winter here in the UK will be about 35, 37. So I need to get it up. So I will need a humidifier to do that. You can buy them from places like Argos or department stores. Normally they are for, um, I've got one that is VIX, like the stuff that you, stuff that you rub on your chest. It's actually designed to put like moisture into the air for, for children that suffer with like a chesty cough. So mine's actually that, it's a VIX one, and it's like a kettle, it just pumps steam into the room. So a facial steamer will actually do the same. So in the winter, when my humidity is low, I need to turn that on and get the humidity up. So you can say that I now need actually four devices. I need this, okay, to measure everything. I need a dehumidifier to suck the moisture out. I need an aircon to take the temperature down, and I need a humidifier for the winter to pump the temperature up. So once you can start controlling your salon environment to perfection, your glues every single day, whether it's autumn, winter, spring, summer, will work perfectly in your salon. People, you've got to trust me on this one and you've got to get it. I know it's a lot of money, but if you're not willing to invest your money into these products, you might as well give up now because you will have unhappy clients coming back with no lashes. Trust me, I've been there. I nearly gave up because I didn't understand it. However, saying that, you are going to have a problem when your humidity is high because what I'm going to say now is so important. So although we can control our salon environment, when our clients leave us and they go out into an environment that we have no control of, what you must remember is that lash glue takes 24 hours to cure. 
it actually cures in layers like this, like this, and it does take 24 hours to cure. If they go out into a high environment or high humidity environment, that lash glue is gonna go really quickly, too quickly. It's got to dry like this and not like this. When it dries rapidly, you get what you call brittle bonds, okay? Shock curing, where your bonds will become brittle because they go like that, really brittle. And what does brittle do? It will just break away and fall off. So if you've had clients coming back the next couple of days in the temperature, with their lashes falling off is because their lashes have shock cured. How do we deal with this? This is very difficult because you have no control over what your clients do when they leave your salon environment. So if they go out into a high humid environment, you've got no choice, okay? So for example, this is why we tell people not to get their lashes wet, not to have steamy showers, not to open up oven doors where the steam comes out because it causes shock curing. So although we advise them that, when they go out into a normal environment, like today, 66% humidity, and they go out there, you have no control. So unless they go and sit in a fridge for the next 24 hours, you really can't control what they are up to and how their lashes are gonna last. So actually lashing at this time of year is really difficult to maintain retention on your clients because you have no control over that. Let's flip it around to the winter when it's cold. So your clients go out into a low humid environment, okay? So they're going out into a low humidity one, their bonds are curing really slowly. So where they should be doing this over 24 hours, they do this and never actually probably get there. Or well, they do, but it's really slow. So these bonds are all wet and floppy and sloppy and lashes get stuck together and their lashes fall off. So this is really, really difficult um, because if they're not going into environments which are, you know, are humid to help um, the lashes cure, their lashes won't last. So in the summer, high, summer high humidity, can't keep the lashes on. Low humidity, can't keep the lashes on. So in low humidity, this is where we might need to nano mist, okay? I'm not gonna cover it in this tutorial, but I want you to go and look at my other tutorial on nano misting, okay? Because there are do's and don'ts of nano misting and you want to only be nano misting at specific times and on certain clients. If you nano mist incorrectly, your client's lashes will fall off. And I will go on to this, okay? But I will do that in another tutorial. So please, please, please take heed of what I've told you. Not many people will share this with you. A lot of trainers won't teach this to you, okay? Take heed of this. Invest your money into these products because like I said, they are gonna save your butt, okay? And if you notice that things are not working right with your glue, don't be so quick to, quick to blame your glue. It's probably so your salon environment. If your client's lashes are falling off in the summer or falling off in the winter, don't be so quick to blame yourself. It's probably the environment that they're going out into when they've left your salon and they're heading out for their 24 hours of curing time. So you're gonna to start to realize how blimming good we are at what we do and how knowledgeable that we have to, to be to not only attach these lashes to our clients and create these beautiful masterpieces but to have a very very good and comprehensive understanding of the science behind our products and how they work and as long as you know this and you can explain it to your clients so your clients know what to expect then you are going to be able to maintain your clients who could possibly if you can't offer them an explanation go elsewhere so I advise you probably go back through this video and start taking notes because a lot of it has probably gone in one ear and out the other. And I've obviously been you know, in this industry for a good couple of years now and, and have a good understanding of this and have been there and have done it and have, have fallen victim to, to lashes not lasting and clients going elsewhere because I couldn't get the lashes to stay on them and there was nobody there to help me and nobody willing to share this information. But you're lucky because there are people now that are willing to share it, people including me because I don't want you to be where I was alone and wanting to give this up because nobody would help me. So take what you can from this and write notes and educate your clients about this and never stop learning. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've taken something away from it and please do take a look at my other videos.